Okay guys, this is the little album we're gonna make today. It is super easy. I'm just gonna show you quickly because we have a full on walkthrough at the end. Flips open, we have a pocket over here, and then this just folds open like an accordion for space for photos, okay? So let's get started with the materials we're gonna be using for this. Hey guys, so excited um, to do this new little quick album with you guys today. This is a four by six wallet mini album. Um, it's really tiny. It takes two sheets of cardstock only, and then you can use a six by six pad to decorate it with. Um, I, I love this um, style of little album because if you want to make a little brag book for grandmas or something like that, it just sticks right in your purse and it's super easy to make. It's also a really cool project for little kids, for you to make with kids. Um, and so let's just get started, but I'm just going to go over some of my materials with you as usual first. So like I said, this album is only only using um, two sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock. In this case, I'm using regular 80 pound cardstock because it's such a small folio. You don't need to go crazy on the weight of the cardstock. So two sheets of that. And as I mentioned, some six by six uh, paper pad. Um, you're not gonna need a ton of that either. So that's the other thing. If you're making it as little gifts for a bunch of people, it's quite economical. Um, I've got two pads that I can't decide between. I've got Echo Parks Warm and Cozy and then Echo Parks Let's Lumberjack, which is one of my absolutely all time favorite, favorite lines. Um, so anyways, I'm thinking because we're still in winter mode, I'll probably go with the warm and cozy and sort of leave it at that. So that's what I'm going to use. Um, I also have, uh, a couple of things that I like to use in my album, which are just basic. So to put my album together, I use art glitter glue. This is just transferred into a fine tip point bottle and then I also use double-sided tape so any double-sided tape um, will do but I like using score tape and that's what you'll see in my video so without further ado let's get started okay guys so first thing I'm going to do is let you know how I go about um, my my instructions so when I read out the measurements I'm always going to read them as height by width so you'll always know the orientation of the piece of paper that you just cut okay so that's one important tip about my albums and the second thing is we just build as we go I mentioned that in other tutorials as well so if this is your first one you'll notice that we don't cut everything and set it aside we just um, we cut a piece we stick them together and, and we keep going that way so let's get started with this little album it is really really quick i promise you so grab you one of your 12 by 12 sheets okay and first thing you want to do is cut that down to six and a quarter all right so let's cut that down our first sheet down to six and a quarter sorry guys just aligning here there we go. okay so this would have my measurements for this one if i hold true to what i just said it's 12 by six and a quarter but obviously it's a 12 by 12 sheet um so this one turn it sideways so that your long edge is along the edge of your scoreboard and for me my scoreboard is actually on the same um tool as my cutting blade so that makes it easy for me so i'm going to score we're going to score this in um one two three four five no, four spots, okay? So you're scoring, put your, like I said, your long side against the edge of your scoreboard and your first score mark is going to be at three inches. Okay, so let's just score that down at three inches. Then you're gonna score at three and a quarter because this little tiny album has a quarter inch spine, okay? Now we're gonna slide along. I guess I have to open this, guys. You're gonna slide it along and measure at seven and a half. Okay, so score that down seven and a half and then slide over a quarter inch over to seven and three quarters and score again for your second spine. All right. All right. So now just let's grab our uh, little bone knife or whatever we call this thing and just fold over on your score lines nice and nice and neat just to make sure they're well they're well creased okay so there's that i'm just folding there along the score lines there we go. okay so that's <laughs> that's the base of the album so that's done and now we can start working on this centerpiece here which is the fold out so what you're going to do for the centerpiece is 
grab um, your cutoffs piece and you're gonna cut three pieces, okay, that are measuring four and a quarter inches tall by six and three quarters wide. So we're gonna need a couple of sheets of paper, but um, let's go ahead and cut this down to four and a quarter. Well, you're not gonna need a couple of sheets. You're gonna need one more sheet besides the one that you just used. Okay, so four and a quarter. And then we're gonna cut three pieces at six and three quarters. Okay, so there's one. I'll save this as a photo mat for something. Okay, and I'll cut this down to four and a quarter. Five, again, six and three quarters. And another piece for photo mat. And then once again, four and a quarter by six and three quarters, right? So you should have three pieces now that measure exactly the same. And what you're gonna do with these pieces is simply score them. So put your long edge along your scoreboard and score them at half an inch, each one, okay? It's one. The only thing with this, using this tool for the scoreboard, I notice is that it's harder to get a deeper crease. Um, so I have to push a little bit harder, but anyways, works out just fine. Okay, now just fold those back and get a nice neat crease on there. Three. I'm using this gray cardstock because um, ultimately, as mentioned, I decided to go with the warm and cozy. So it nice, it matches really nicely um, with the different blues and, and different hues in there. So, okay, so now you've got these three pieces. Let's move this aside for a second. Grab your double-sided tape. And what I want you to do is get double-sided tape onto each of these um, parts that we just that we just folded over. So you're putting double sided tape tape from the edge to the half inch score line. Okay, so do that on all three. Okay. There we go. And then we're going to start to add these to the album. So what I want to do is I want to create a kind of accordion fold out. It's going to go like this, which you saw quickly in the beginning of the video. Anyways, I will walk you through how to do that. So take your first piece and with this folded side facing to the left and on the bottom like that, okay, this is how this one's going to go down. We want to attach this to the left side of the, the album base to the in the middle section. So I'm just going to fold down this corner and I'm going to go right to the edge, okay, right to the edge because these are the same size as the album base. Now, okay, I'm just lining it up. So interestingly, and this is why we do this, so I'm actually, I actually get excited when this happens. This doesn't look like it's perfectly aligned. Right? So I'm going to pull that. I'm not going to stick it down. Okay, I'm going to re stick that. I'm going to set that aside for a second because I'm going to see what's wrong with it. And I'm going to check the other ones because sometimes our scoring blades can give us a, like, sometimes it's crooked. This one's perfect. So I'm going to use this one and then I'm going to show you what to do about that other naughty little piece over there. So let's stick this down. So I'm just going up here to right to the edge and right to the score mark above and below. Okay, so it's right in frame. Everything looks good. Now I can pull out the backing. Okay, and there's a first little, little flip. And now I want the other one over here because when I go to open this, it's going to kind of open up and fold, like fold, all fold open. So now this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just checking, does it look like it's the same size? This one looks good. So it looks like I only messed up one. So now I can peel back my corner. 
And now I'm going to attach this to the edge of this top card, right? So we're going right up to the edge, line everything up. This card goes right on top of the card below it. And then there we go. Ooh, lovely. And then I have this guy to deal with that seems a bit messed up. So I'm gonna check out what the problem could be. It looks like he's a little bit too long. So no problem, I'm gonna go get my scoreboard out and I'm gonna make sure that this is four and a quarter by six and three quarters. So, cause it could be off a smidgen, it really could. And then it causes some problems. So it looks like, it looks okay, it looks like a hair off by a hair but because we are you like we don't have any margin for that kind of room on this album so I'm just cleaning it up and then I think that the width was okay so I'm just gonna double check and yeah that looks fine so there you go easy easy fixes on these things um, now I'm gonna make sure that this is lined up so now this card you're going to attach let's, so what do you have so far we have one two and now I need this to flip out this way so we're going to attach this one over onto the left side of the card we just attached okay so same thing line up in the corner first and make sure the whole thing looks well lined up it's right on top of the card below nothing sticking out or looking strange there we go and we peel that off so that's this section that gives you space for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven photos. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna make sure everything is still closing nicely, right? Okay, now for the bottom piece, super easy. Grab your blade again and cut yourself um, a piece that measures two and a quarter inches tall by seven and a quarter wide. So you should have a piece of paper that is big enough to do that with left from your your two pieces of cardstock. Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure that I've got enough paper here. So seven and a quarter, right, okay. I wanna make sure I don't put the paper the wrong way, but uh, we're good either direction. Okay, so let's cut that down to two and a half. By seven and a quarter. And then we're gonna score this on three sides because it's gonna be a pocket. So what you're gonna do is score along the two short edges and then one long edge at half an inch. There's one. And two. And three. Okay. All right put that there for a second Let's bring back our little album so what I'd like to do um, here is just miter the corners so I want to cut I want to go across you can see where the score lines are I'm just going to cut diagonally across there so that when I fold these back we're not getting a whole bunch of bulkiness okay so do that on both corners and now fold your corners back and grab your double-sided tape and run your tape along these three edges. You could use glue too, by the way. I'm just, today I'm, I'm using tape. I mostly use tape for uh, putting together the album base and then I switch over to glue when I'm decorating. But it's just a personal choice. They're both really good. I've never had, I, I haven't had any albums fall apart on me yet, so. Okay, so there you go on three sides. <clears throat> And this is gonna go down on the bottom flap right here. Wildly easy, this album. Like, it's just, I mean, it's small, obviously, so it should be easy, but it doesn't take long at all if you wanna whip up a little gift for a teacher or whoever, anyways. Okay, and that's down there. So. That's basically the album. So the other thing we're gonna do, and we'll do that <clears throat> in a second now, is put um, 
what so what I decided was because it's so plain I want to do a belly band and then I can embellish the belly band so there's different ways you can hold this shut um, you could use a magnet if you're into magnets I think I've mentioned before I really try to avoid them um, they just add cost unnecessary cost to the album and uh, yeah if you have some hanging around and that's your jam go ahead but we're going to do a belly band for this Okay guys, so let's cut the piece for the belly band. And the belly band, um, you should have enough off cuts to actually make this, um, but you have to join two pieces. So if you don't wanna join two pieces, then you will need a fresh piece of cardstock. But either way, it's uh, basically, you're gonna to need to cut down a strip that measures um, one and a half by 10 and three quarters. So let's go ahead and cut that down. So one and a half. way by 10 and three quarters okay so just just need to take a sliver so that is the strip we're going to use for the belly band okay so for the scoring grab your strip put the long piece against the bottom of your scoreboard and score that at three inches and then at three and three eighths okay and then slide it over to seven and five eighths. So one, two, three, four, five. Sometimes I have to count. Seven and five eighths. And then at eight. Okay, so that's your belly band. And just go ahead and fold along those pieces that we just scored along those score marks and grab your folder and make sure that this is fitting around nicely and you have room to slide. So you see we made this a little bit wider than the spine just because I want to be able to, this has to slide freely. Now you have a couple of choices here. Some people um, like to just use a piece of Velcro here. Again, you can use a magnet if that's what you like. I'm gonna just glue it and it's just gonna slide on and off. So that's what I'm gonna do. So the way that I usually do that is I actually wrap it around just so I get the right positioning, okay? Okay guys, now that your belly band is complete, you can obviously test it, make sure it slides nice and loosely back and forth and we can start decorating this little album. So I'm not gonna go through every single page, just gonna show you a couple of things that I'm doing. now. You can see this album can either go this way oops, or it can be vertical. So I always feel like I do horizontal orientation. So I'm going to flip this one vertical and that's how I'm going to decorate um, this album. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the cover. So I've chosen this little cabin paper because I love those little houses. And I'm you don't need to mat it, but I am going to mat it on this wood grain sheet. Uh, from the paper kit just because I like um, just the extra weight on the front flap so I'm just gonna go around the edges really quick and mat that down you can chalk the edges too that gives a bit more um, depth and dimension um, I didn't do it in this case but I also sometimes I will chalk the edges up okay so that's this is so easy and I'm telling you you can get you can make so many with one paper pad it really does not use a lot of paper but I just wanted to show you the you know you can do this horizontally or vertically so I'm really liking this um, vertical orientation today okay there's that it's already starting to look super cute I think okay and then I cut out this page which is just uh, the wood grain with snowflakes on it and that's what I'm gonna put here I love the way that looks Go ahead and put that down. And like I said, if you like to, to mat these, you can. You'll still, even if you use the paper from the paper pack, you'll still have plenty left over. Okay, so that goes here. And you can see it's really easy because um, the pages are six and a quarter. So it's a perfect size because the paper pad is six by six. So you get sort of an automatic um, trim without having to do too much extra cutting. So I'm already liking how this looks. Okay, so now I found in my stash this 
four by six card, which I'm gonna put on the front here. If you don't, this paper pad doesn't come with one, but if you have one somewhere in your stash and you wanna use it, I would use it for the front only because it's such a small album. You really wanna leave the rest of the pages as um, space for photos, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this down on the front. And then I'm gonna work on the belly band so I can show you um, what I'm doing with that. Okay, and then once we do that, I'll just show you a walkthrough of the decorated album. Um, but as you can see, it's just so quick and easy. Okay, there we go. Oh, I love that. It matches perfectly. I think this is from Cartabella, some old winter line. I don't know. I always have bits and bops that I find. So if you have some old stuff, of course, use it up. All right, let's put this over here. And now I'm going to just... I want to check how, how this is going to look. So my belly band is sliding on top. I'll sit like this. So I'm going to put some stuff on here. So first I want to cover up the belly band. So to choose my paper that I'm going to cover it with. So I'm pretty sure um, I want a little bit different accent. So you can maybe use the snowflake. But you know what? I'm going to stick with the wood grain. I really love the look of the wood grain. So what I'm going to do is cover this front part with wood grain and simply I'm just going to mark out with a pen here on the opposite side where I need to cut all right nothing you don't need to get too fussy with measurements uh, for this part okay and so I'm going to stick that on there and before I start gluing anything down, I'm going to look through my album and I think, so they've got lots of these little um, sayings, little cards. They're so cute. Those ones are really tiny. Then they get a little bit bigger. And then I think there's some even bigger ones. So I think um, I'm going to go with this, this page where they're horizontal. So it takes up, it doesn't, you know, it's not going to I don't know what I was going to say. I was going to say it, fit, it fits better, but it really doesn't matter. You can use whichever you like. If you like sort of this long one, you can use one of these long ones, whatever you choose. But I'm going to go ahead with one of these um, horizontal ones. Okay. And I'm just going to see what I like here. And I'm going to use this as a little gift. And I like this walking in a winter wonderland. So that's what I'm going to put here. Or maybe even hello winter. I don't know. What do you guys think? So hard to decide. They're so cute. Anyway, I'm going to stick with walking in a winter wonderland. So I'm just going to cut out that little, that little uh, rectangle. And I want to mat this because I want it to have a little bit of weight. So you can either mat it onto some of your cardstock that you have left over or um, mat it onto the patterned paper. So I'm going to go ahead and mat it. There's so much patterned paper. I'm going to use some of that and mat that on here. Okay, so let's glue this down first. You should never glue on top of the, the project, right? Knowing me, I'll get glue where it shouldn't be. Okay, so we'll just center that. And then I'm going to mat this on some kind of contrast. So maybe some red or the blue. I think I'll use the blue. And it picks up the little snowflakes in the background here. Yep. So we've got two blues to choose from. Three blues to choose from. Look at that. I'll go with this one here. So you can actually, if you want, mat this a few times. So I think um, that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to triple mat it. So I've got three blues. So the easiest way that I go about matting without having to do a ton of measuring is I cut the top piece first, right? And then I stick that down into the corner, which is with as much frame or edge as I want showing. So about an eighth of an inch, right? And then because I hate measuring everything all the time. I'm gonna grab my paper trimmer. Oops, oh boy, not give you guys motion sickness. And I'm just gonna trim off at an eighth of an inch around here. 
and sometimes it's a little bit off so I have to redo it so there you go see and I'm just going to trim around it now this is very important if you're going to use this method you have to make sure that you are centering this you're putting it on straight and then anyways so if you find that too risky then you know don't don't do it measure everything but otherwise you can take that little shortcut to save yourself a little bit of time and then i just mat this again onto here there we go and just trim around that all right that is great and so and bring back my little album and stick this on top. So I'm gonna glue, this is, um, where is my ruler? Yes, this is, this is one and a half inches wide. So I wanna make sure I kind of center my glue in the middle here. You can also put your glue down on this piece. It's just, I get paranoid a little bit about where the glue has to go. So sometimes I just hold my card up so I kind of see how far to go left and right, okay? And now we can just center that right on there. There we go. So this is already looking so, so cute and so quick. All right, I'm gonna go in and decorate the rest of this and come back and show you my finished product. Okay guys, so here's the finished decorated product. I finished decorating the back of my belly band and then I used these little cottage paper on the back of the album and I layered this up, double matted it, warm winter wishes, just to add a little bit more interest. And then we open it up. I use these little cards on this side just for fun because it's really not enough space for a photo. So um, then we have the pocket on this side. And so I made um, out of the little cards, I just thought, this is so cute. I have to use it somehow. So what I did is I just matted down some um, paper in there. And so this could be used for journaling because there's not a lot of space in this album. And this is only about like one and three quarters by two and three quarters. So it's pretty small, but enough room if you want to write a little note or have some journaling. So that tucks into this pocket here. And then I just created uh, some four by six cards. Uh, matting cards you can stick photos to these this is from I don't know some random I found this in my stash too okay so those will tuck right in there along with this then we have the center section and all I did here is I kept it really simple and I just really matted in some simple papers because this is going to be um, for the photos right so not too much to really do here and that is it guys that is this little album i hope you enjoyed this quick little project um, if you aren't already i would love if you would subscribe to my channel um, if you like the video hit the bell button you will get notifications of my new stuff as soon as it comes out um, this year i have a goal to actually try and produce a little bit more content um, so i'm super excited you're here i hope you liked it as always, leave me any comments or ideas in the in the comment section. I read everything um, and I really welcome your thoughts on this little project. Thanks, guys. Have an awesome day. Bye bye.